Let's start first with the concept of what is elasticity. And essentially, why is it important for us for better understanding um, how labor markets work? Or not how labor markets, well, actually, even labor markets, but markets in general, how they work. So elasticity Uh, essentially, what we're trying when you when you see the word elasticity, I want you to think in your 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 head that I'm looking for um, sensitivity, and I'm basically looking at or sensitivity, or you could even say responsiveness. And uh, because what we're sometimes trying to do is trying to determine the magnitude of the effect. If I change one thing um, by, let's say, 1%, to what percent does that adjust the other variable? So what you see in numbers 2, 3, um, 6, and 7, price elasticity of demand, price elasticity of supply, income elasticity, and cross price elasticity, And we're going to be talking about each of these in, in greater detail here, but I just want to kind of preview what's going on here. The, what we're concerned about changes based on um, what type of elasticity we're trying to measure. So for price elasticity of demand, we're looking at the percentage change in the price. So percentage, when I use a triangle, that's going to stand for change. The percentage change in price and how that relates to the percentage change in the quantity demanded. Alternatively, for price elasticity of supply, I'm going to be looking at the percentage change in price and how that leads to percentage change in the quantity supplied. For income elasticity of demand, I'm going to be looking at the percentage change in income and how that leads to percentage change in the quantity demanded. And for the cross price elasticity, I'm going to be looking at the percentage change in the price of good 2 and how that leads to a percentage change in the quantity demanded of good 1. So here I'm looking at the relationship between two different goods. And so that's what we're going to see here then throughout this chapter, is we're going to try to deal with each of these in turn and be a little bit concerned with how to calculate them, what they look like, and what they do for us.